Is it, are, I haven't been watching that but much of Ah, well, the angels did that when they got pools. They got pools and trout, and it seemed to help them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. But and I don't know. Money doesn't always, you know. The Yankees should have won last year if they. It had money, and they finished at the bottom of the heap. Though their manager, just like ours, still has his job. Who would have thought that, right? So, all right. Let's do some Tai Chi together. Watch it. You might trip over that. <laughs> I don't want you to trip. You want me to put it over here? All right. Thank you. Everybody signed in for me, I assume. All right. Um, yeah, you get a three chair set up right here or back there. Already set up at those two locations if you want. I bet you he'd move his chair for you so you can roll by. You can roll around. There you go. All right. So uh, APDA is closed as of next week for one week for Christmas week. The office is closed. You can still call if you want. Um, the, um, let me see, AP Day is closed next week. Uh, phone lines are still open. Uh, so there'll be somebody manning the phone lines. Um, and then when we come back New Year's Eve, um, I will be gone Thursday, um, one year anniversary of my surgery. Um, so I'm taking that day off in celebration and then I'll be back on, uh, Friday. And, but Gary will be here teaching you on Thursday. Okay. Um, I think that's all the stuff we're doing with that. I want everybody here to have a very Merry Christmas, if that's what you were celebrating. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move these chairs forward for you. If you stand up today. I want to be right in between those two chairs, all right? Okay, thank you. Good to see you. Um, all right, so deep breathing, help us out. So right hand, fist, power. Left hand, fingers together, friendship, tuck into thumb, humility, and fist into the palm. We say welcome, welcome. A lot of studies out there are showing that cancer is... Um, is anti-oxygen. So if you oxygenate your body, you're less likely to get cancer. Um, so things like deep breathing, and you can go on Google and you can look at this. There's a lot of uh, people like, some people are using like uh, hyperbaric chambers and everything like that for their home uh, to help them with you know, in intake of oxygen and um, helping uh, fight cancer. So, um, there's some research in that way. Uh, so deep breathing could possibly be helpful for cancer. It certainly doesn't hurt, right? Learning how to breathe is okay. So from the Wuji position, bending in the knees, tucking in the tailbone, head lifted by the silk thread, we're gonna breathe from the belly. And let's begin, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, nice and slow, one more time, inhale, and exhale. Push the hands in front of us next. Inhale to the heart, and exhale, I hope you're not allergic to Tai Chi. Inhale, and exhale. Big, deep, belly breath in, long, slow breath out. Inhale and exhale, nice and slow, one more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. 
arms over the head next. Inhale to the heart and exhale. Big, deep belly breath in. Long, slow breath out. Inhale. Exhale as you yell, go Cardinals. Inhale. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Go, go Blues. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Arms to the side. Inhale to the heart. Exhale. Left both hands out. Sorry. Fingertips up. Inhale. And exhale. Big, deep belly breath in. Long, slow breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Arms in the diagonals. Inhale to the heart. Left up, right down. Exhale. Good job. Good posture, everybody. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to the heart. One more time each side. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to the heart. Exhale. Relax the hands down. Flap the arms like bird wings. Big deep belly breath in. And long slow breath out. Inhale, keep looking straight ahead, exhale, and one more time, inhale, and exhale, and finish up with gathering chi, big deep belly breath in, long slow breath out. Inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, and exhale. There you go. That's our deep breathing exercises. All right. I can tell everybody's excited. By the way, did you used to go sledding down Art Hill on the hood of your car? That was you, wasn't it? Oh, it was not? On the hood of your car? <laughs> there was some, I thought it was you that used to go to Art Hill and they used to drive, them and their buddies would drive to Art Hill. They'd take the hood off their car and slide down the hill uh, a lot of the day and they'd put the hood back on the car and drive home. Uh, probably not. You'd only do that once and You'd, uh, the funeral will be the next day. If I did that to my dad's car, whoa, that would not be pretty. Uh, but they used to build cars. So you could do that. <laughs> right now, probably the sled you buy from Deerberg's down the street has more plastic in it than the hood of the car. So, all right, let's do warm up exercises, shall we? From the Wuji position. We will do the chin tuck. Look the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin, looking straight ahead. Hands come out, chin gently floats up, and sink the chin down to the chest. Again, float the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin, looking straight ahead. Hands come out, chin gently floats up and sink the chin 
down to the chest. One more time, float the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin, looking straight ahead. Feel the stretch on the back of the neck. Hands come out, chin gently floats up, and sink the chin down to the chest. Next neck exercise, looking side to side, starting from the prayer hand position. Tai Chi ball, right hand on top, left hand, left shoulder, looking left, pushing down right. And come back to center, left hand on top, right hand, right shoulder, looking right, pushing down left. And come back to center, right hands on top, left hand, left shoulder, looking left, pushing down right. Come back to center, left hands on top, right hand, right shoulder, looking right, pushing down left. And come back to center, one more time each side, right hands on top, left hand, left shoulder, And back to center, left hands on top, right hand, right shoulder. Feel that nice stretch in the neck. And come back to center, come back to prayer hands, relax the hands down. Forward shoulder circles, bring the shoulders back, then up, then forward and down. Shoulders back, up, forward, and down. One more time. Shoulders back, up, forward, and down. Now reverse. Shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. One more time. Forward, up, back, and down. Beautiful. Gathering chi, gently reaching for infinity. Gently reaching out, reaching up. Keep looking straight ahead. And relax the hands down. Imagine someone is gently pulling at your wrist. Gently reaching out, reaching up. Beautiful stretch. And relax the hands down. One more time, gently reaching out, reaching up, beautiful stretch. And relax the hands down. Beautiful. By the way, in general, I knew there was another announcement. In general, um, if Parkway is having a snow day, we're probably off here. All right. You can always call the office. And I think they're trying to be proactive so they have... That's one of the reasons you sign in and we have your email address captured that we can send out an email, a blast email to everyone if we're closed. Um, but never, if, you, if it's not safe for you to get out, don't come out. We'll see you next week, all right? So, and we're supposed to get snow sometime. You know we're going to pay for all this warm weather, right? All right. Touching heaven and earth, a prayer hand position. Left hand up, right hand down, gently stretching the spine. And come back to center. Right hand up, left hand down, gently stretching the spine. And come back to center. Left hand up, right hand down, gently stretching the spine. And come back to center. Right hand up, left hand down, gently stretching the spine. And come back to center. One more time. Left hand up, right hand down. Gently stretching the spine. And come back to center. Right hand up, left hand down. Gently. Putting the head to the ceiling. Come back to center. Come back to prayer hands. Relax the hands down. Good job. Carrying the ball side to side. The excitement continues to build. Prayer hand position. Tai Chi ball. Left hand is on top. Gently turning to the left. Turning the ball over, right hands on top. Gently turn to the right. Turn the ball over, left hand is on top. Gently turn to the left. Turning the ball over, right hands on top. Gently turn to the right. One more time. Turning the ball over, gently turn to the left. 
turning the ball over, right hands on top, gently turn to the right. And then we turn the ball over, we come back to center, relax the hands down. Beautiful. Let's do our leg strengthening exercise, and then we'll have a seat, all right? I'm going to get a drink of water real fast. All right, <clears throat> so trying to keep the body straight, keep the knee bent, use your chair if you need to, all right? From the Wuji position, weight shifts to the left, right foot, cat stance. Tap, right toe to the front, empty. And return to the cat stance. Tap, right toe to the side. Keep looking straight ahead. Don't look at your feet. And cat stance. And right foot behind us. Keep all the weight on the left. And cat stance. And back to Wu Ji. All right. Other leg. Because why should we let one leg have all the fun? Weight shift to the right, left foot, cat stance. Left foot to the front, empty. And cat stance once again. Left foot to the side, empty. And cat stance. And then left foot behind us. Good spacing. We've learned well, grasshopper. Cat stance once again. And then back to Wuji. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. Good work, everyone. Very impressed with those wide stances. That's good. It's really good. All right, let's have a seat. Let's do a couple seated exercises. or nap time, either way. <laughs> All right. So, starting out with the hip exercise. You guys all know this one. Turning to the left-hand side of the chair. I'm sorry, right-hand side. Sorry. My mirror's foggy. Right-hand side of the chair, prayer hand position. Push against the right wall, open up the left leg, keep the knee above the ankle. Good job. Back to center. Again, push against the right wall, open up the left leg simultaneously, feel the stretch in the hip, and come back to center. And then push against the right wall, open up the left leg, same time, feel the stretch in the hip. And come back to center, prayer hands, Relax the hands down. All right. I really mean it this time. Turn to the right-hand side of your chair. All right. Pardon me? You're right. Yeah, it's my right. But that isn't what I'm supposed to be saying. So, yes, turn to the left hand. You guys knew what to do. It was a test, and you guys all passed really well. Good job. Left hand side of the chair, push against the left, open up the right leg. And come back to center. Push against the left wall, open up the right leg simultaneously. And come back to center. One more time. Push against the left wall, open up the right leg. And back to center. And relax the hands down. Beautiful. Back to the center and shake those legs loose. Good job. Well, yeah, finally. Hey, if you think Tai Chi is hard, try and doing it backwards. That's always hard. Uh, that's my only, that's, that's the only, yeah, my mirror doesn't work all the time, right? Okay, so 
Uh, second hip exercise, two motions with the leg, lifting the leg up, pushing the leg down, keeping the body straight, keeping the back straight. This really helps build our core. Okay. So with the, I hope I'm right, left leg, pick the left leg up, hands behind us. And relax. Hands in front of us, push down on the left foot, hard as you can. And relax. Lift the left leg up, hands behind us, and relax. Hands in front of us, push down on the left foot, hard as you can, and relax. One more time, lift the left leg up, hands behind us. Hold that for half an hour, and relax. Hands in front of us, push down on the left foot, hard as you can, push, 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 and relax. Beautiful. Pick the right leg up, hands behind us. And relax. Hands in front of us, push down on the right foot, hard as you can. Push, push, push. Relax. Lift the right leg up, hands behind us. And relax. Hands in front of us, push down on the right foot, hard as you can. Push, push, push. And relax. One more time, lift the right leg up, hands behind us, and relax. You guys are doing wonderful. Hands in front of us, push down on the right foot, hard as you can, push, 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 and relax. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. Good job. All right, on to the heel kick. Four motions with the leg. Pick the leg up, kick the leg out, heel kick, so toes pointing up. Pick the leg up, float the foot down, keeping the body straight, keeping the back straight, punching out the opposite hand, smiling like a kid on Christmas morning the whole time. <laughs> I know, that's the hardest part, isn't it? Hands loosely gripped at the belt line. Pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg, either right fist, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. One more time each side, pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out right. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out left fist. And pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Beautiful. <clears throat> Shake those legs loose. Again, this is an exercise you can do at night when you're watching the blues, watching the Cardinals, reading a book on the computer. Doesn't matter. This is a really good exercise to keep our legs strong. Okay? Yay. All right. You guys, I know you were waiting for them. I've not read these jokes, so I have no idea how good they are or are not. Well, dad jokes, bad jokes, same thing, right? But if, if they're bad, it's his fault. <laughs> Good. All right. Who says, oh, oh, oh? Careful how you answer. Uh, Santa walking backwards. Oh, 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 backwards, get it? Uh, what do you get if you cross Santa with a detective? Santa clues. Santa clues. What do you call a kid who doesn't believe in Santa? This is a good one. I think. A rebel without a clause. <laughs> um, how can you tell that Santa is real? I like this one. You can always sense his presence. 
my mother-in-law who just passed away um, when the kids got to the point where do you believe in Santa Claus or not? Mother-in-law used to tell her kids, as long as you believe, you get presents from Santa. Like, that was a good answer. Um, how does good King Wenceslas like his pizza? I've heard this one before. Deep and crisp and even. There you go. There's your dad jokes. My, uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter, um, we got them some like cameras that were digital cameras. They were Barbie cameras, so they were in pink and everything. And I'll be darned if that kid on Christmas Eve, when she's right about that age, wondering if Santa Claus was real, set her camera out with a note that she had written to Santa saying, Santa, some of my friends say that you're not real. So take a picture of yourself. Just show me that you're real. And she set that out on Christmas Eve with the milk and cookies. And I was like, oh, man, how am I going to do this? Um, so we had a big screen TV, 70 inch big screen TV. So I was able to hook my computer to the, to the big screen. And so I hooked my computer up and I put up a picture of Santa. And then I took her camera and took a picture of Santa and wrote a note back. Yes, I'm real. Um, that kept her going for a couple of years. And she was so excited because she looked at the camera and was like, look, he's real, he's real. And she took her camera to school so she could show her friends and everything that Santa was real. It was so cool. It was so cool too uh, that, that, you know, it helped her believe a little bit longer. And um, ah, ah, some of them, I'm sure some of them didn't believe him. I'm sure some of them did, and they had proof now that it was on the camera. She was like, I knew it was real. There's proof on that camera. It was so cute. All right. I'm done reminiscing. You guys done? Toe kick. Lift up the left leg. Toe kick left. Punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg. Float the foot to the ground. Good job. Pick up the right leg. Toe kick right. Punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the left leg, toe kick left, punch out right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Two more times. Pick up the left leg, toe kick left, punch out right. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out, left fist. And pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Beautiful. One more time. Sit up nice and straight and tall. Pick up the left leg, toe kick left, punch out right. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg. I'm not here. Toe kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. Good job. Let's do this. Let's do our ankle exercises from the chair because then I'll, I'll do a back exercise after that. Okay? Yay! All right. You guys are really, you, you're like the weather today, so. All right. Left foot. Touch heel and toe. Heel and toe. Heel, toe, don't move the leg, move the ankle. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, and toe. And right foot, heel, and toe. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Don't move the leg, move the ankle. Heel. Toe, there you go. Heel, toe, heel, and toe. Beautiful. Second ankle exercise, left foot, little toe, big toe. Little toe, big toe, little toe, and big toe. Other side, right foot, little toe, 
big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe, and big toe, and back to center. All right, shake those legs loose. Boy, somebody here really wants to talk to you or somebody. I'm sorry? Yeah. All right. Let's do, um, this is a really good way to stretch your back out, okay? Uh, actually, it's a really good way to stretch your hamstrings. Thereby, it stretches the back. Um, the hamstring, um, so our largest muscle are the quadriceps on the front of our legs right here. Um, the opposing muscle is the hamstring, and that's on the back of the legs. Um, so it's important to keep those hamstrings strong and flexible. When the hamstring, um, as I understand it, three of the hamstring muscles attach up at the pelvic girdle. So if the hamstrings are tight, it pulls the pelvis back which starts giving us back problems. So that's one, one reason why these exercises are so important. So there's two exercises we do. Stay in your comfort zone, do what's best for you, okay? So take the left leg out, toe is up, keep a bend in your left knee, don't hyperextend your knee, leave a bend in the knee, and gently stretch on that left leg, nice and easy, nice and gentle. Don't force anything, don't bounce. And then tuck in the chin and round up. Then right leg, same thing. Toe up, bend in the knee, release down onto the right leg. Nice and gentle, don't force anything. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. Tuck in the chin and round up. All right, back to the left leg. Toe up, release down onto the left leg. Again, don't force anything. You'll notice I'm not doing a whole lot because my back is still bothering me. Tuck in the chin and round up and then shift to the right leg. Toe is up, bend in that knee, release down onto the right leg. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. And tuck in the chin and round up. Beautiful. All right. So we'll do a couple of back arches before we move on. So rock forward on the pelvis. Shoulders are back. Sternum is forward. Gently stretching that back. Keep looking straight ahead. Good job. And relax. And then a back arch again. This one feels so good. Arch that back. Push the sternum forward and relax so when we've been bending our body like this like we are with our hamstring arching that back is helpful okay so what is it it's your phone yeah we'll let him disarm it we'll give him a minute Thank you. <laughs> I know it's like um, when I'm teaching class, I some, in fact, I probably didn't today. Um, silence my phone so I don't get any phone calls in the middle of class. It's really obnoxious, like when I'm meditating. All right. Second hamstring exercise. So we put the foot out, but keep the foot flat this time. So you pretty much have to have a bend in the knee. And then release down onto that left leg, keeping the foot flat, not forcing anything, nice and gentle, nice and easy. And then tuck in the chin and round up. Left foot back, right foot out, foot flat, and release down onto the right leg. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. And tuck in the chin and round up. Bring the right foot back. One more time each side. Left foot, foot flat. 
Release down onto the left leg. No bouncing, no straining. This is a nice gentle stretch, but feel how the stretch has moved more to the inside of the leg. And then tuck in the chin and round up. Bring the left foot back, right foot forward, and release down onto the right leg. Again, nice and easy, nice and gentle. And tuck in the chin and round up. And then we're going to do two more of those back arches. So push the sternum forward, shoulders back, arching the back, look straight ahead. And relax. One more time, arching that back. Good job. And relax. Beautiful. All right. Hopefully that makes your back feel a little better. So uh, one of the, some of the things that we do here are core strengthening exercises. So that should help the back also. Okay. All right. You just want to sit here for the rest of the hour. All right. Let's stand up. Let's do some more exercises. You guys are really quiet today. I'm kind of worried about you. All right, let's do our hip exercise, side to side. Everybody goes, yes. All right, um, keep the body straight, keep the knee bent. Use your chair if you need to, please stay safe. Prayer hand position, push to the right, weight to the right, bend in the right knee, tap that left foot or float the left foot. And come back to center. Push left, weight left, bend in the left knee, tap the right foot, or float the right foot. And come back to center. Push right, weight right, bend in the right knee, tap or float, left foot. And come back to center. Push left, weight left, bend in the left knee, tap or float the right foot. And come back to center. So this exercise correlates to the seated exercise where we open the one leg up and open the other leg up. That's essentially what we do from the chair. So we don't, we're not leaning to the side. We're staying nice and straight. But as we open up that leg, we feel a stretch in the hip. All right? So it's a corollary of that exercise. Weight shift to the right. Bend in the right knee. Tap or float the left foot. And come back to center, push wet, left, weight left, bend in the le or left knee. And come back to center, relax the hands down. Beautiful. Forward and backward hip exercise. I love, love, love my Parkinson's friends doing this one. This really helps us out. So touching the heel in front of us empty, touching the toe behind us empty, this tests the balance, so be careful with this. As you get better, you can extend the toe back further, uh, but start with that toe in close until your balance says your body's all right, and then extend it back, all right? Um, from the side, as I touch heel and toe, I keep the body nice and straight so I don't lean back and lean forward. Keep the body nice and straight as I touch heel and toe. Um, Plenty of space between the feet, right? Always, always, always. And finally, um, as you go, as you transition between heel and toe, try and lift the knee and touch the toe. Lift the knee and touch the heel. That's going to help you. You're lifting your knees as you walk and as you motivate. So make sure you have a chair next to you for your balance if you need it. Okay. All right. So um, try and keep all the weight on one leg, okay? So all my weight is to the right. So try and keep all the weight on the right, empty left heel, hands behind us or using the chair. Lifting the knee, transition, empty left toe, hands in front of us. Good spacing. Lifting the knee, empty on the heel. Lifting the knee, empty on the toe. One more time, lift the knee, empty on the heel. And lifting the knee, 
empty on the toe. And come back to center. Beautiful. Other side. Weight shifts left. Keep all of your weight left. Empty right heel. Hands behind us. Lift the knee as you transition. Empty right toe. Hands in front of us. Empty on the heel. And empty on the toe. One more time. Empty heel. And empty on the toe. And back to center. All right. Good job. All right. How's that feel for everybody? That one? Why'd you have to wait? You can use your kitchen counter right at home and do that. But you have one at home. Oh, I, I call BS on that. When has your wife ever told you to stay away from the kitchen, right? <laughs> if you told her the kitchen counter was helpful with your Parkinson's disease and you promised to clean up a couple dishes afterwards, yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. So next exercise, we're going to build off of that last exercise where we touched the heel down empty. Now we're going to set the foot down empty, no weight, right? Then shift the weight forward 70%, 30%. Use the hips to shift the weight so the body stays nice and straight. And then we shift the weight back. Don't move the feet yet. Get all the weight on that back foot so you're empty on the front foot again. And then return back to center, okay? So, moving around this way, really important. Days like today, when it's slick outside, step out empty. When you step, don't walk forward like this, where you're constantly like stopping yourself from falling. Instead, you step out empty and shift weight. Step out empty and shift weight. Okay? So, learn to keep your weight back as you step forward, not falling forward on that foot. Okay? All right, let me get a drink of water real fast, and we will try. All right. So from the Wuji position, weight shifts to the right. Step out, empty left foot. Weight shifts left, punch out right fist. Weight shifts back and come back to center. Did your alarm start going off again? <laughs> he just likes to call attention to himself. That's what it is. That was his. <laughs> it's probably an alarm. <laughs> there you go. All right, other side, weight shifts left, step out empty right foot. And then weight shifts right, punch out left fist. Weight shifts back, don't move the feet yet, and back to center. Good job. Weight shift right, step out empty left. Weight shifts left, punch out right fist. Get the back heel down, weight shifts back, come back to center, weight shifts left, step out empty right, weight shifts right, punch out left fist, weight shifts back, and come back to center. Good job. So point the toe forward, direct your energy forward. So step out empty left, toe facing forward, weight shifts left, punch out right fist. Opposite hand. I knew that looked good. Opposite hand. Opposite hand. Opposite hand. And weight shifts back and back to center. <laughs> um, whatever, uh, whatever foot's for the opposite hand is forward. Okay. Weight shifts left. Step out empty right. 
And Wade shifts right, punch out, left fist. Beautiful. Wade shifts back, come back to center. What? Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> I'm probably doing that calling right and left different or something. Did I call? Okay. <laughs> he's not doing it wrong. He's just doing it opposite, which is good for the brain. All right. Again, weight shift right, step out empty, left, toe facing forward. Weight shifts left, punch out, right fist. Weight shifts back. Come back to center, good job. Weight shift left, step out empty right, toe facing forward. Weight shift right, punch out left fist. And then weight shifts back and come back to center. Good, that's looking really good. That's another good exercise to practice. Practice stepping out empty, okay? All right, uh, any questions on any of the exercises that we did? You usually ask a question. So. Uh, everything, oh, so yesterday wasn't fine? We all do. All right, so let's have a seat. Let's do some meditation, all right? Do what? I can do that. Yeah, Wendy and her husband aren't here today. You should have done that when you came in. Gee, it's pretty dark outside. And yesterday was the winter solstice, so yesterday was the shortest day of the year. <laughs> Well, that's a good thing. How often do you have trouble falling asleep and you need help with it, right? <laughs> okay, so holiday season, really good time to meditate. Um, a lot of things can be going on in the holiday season. Um, I actually get along really good with my family and my wife's family, but not everybody has that blessing. Um, so. If things are making you anxious, um, maybe your Tai Chi instructor is making you anxious, um, use meditation to help calm the mind down. Maybe we got some news lately that we didn't like. Pardon me. Um, you can use meditation to calm the mind down. Um, and keeping the calm mind is important to keeping our body nice and calm also. Okay, so as I said last week, I'm doing a progressive relaxation. If I were doing this at home, like I would, you know, again, I'd start at the feet, go to the legs, go to the hips, but I would start at the feet and make sure my feet are relaxed before I move on to the legs and make sure the legs are relaxed before I go on to the hips. That may, t uh, you know, for right now, we're only doing two breaths because I can't tell if your feet are relaxed and we're on a time crunch also. Um, but at home, just keep breathing through your feet until your feet relax and then move to your legs. Um, and however long that takes, that's fine. It may take an hour to get all the way through the body. That's fine. Um, when I first started meditating, it took me longer to meditate. Um, but now that I have more experience with it, I can get into a meditative state, usually within a few breaths. If I'm having a bad day, it takes more breaths, okay? All right, so um, talking about the inner stomach, we hold a lot of anxiety there, let it go, okay? All right, sitting up nice and straight and tall, using the back of the chair if you need to. We're gonna start with a few cleansing breaths. We're gonna clean our mind now. Dig deep, belly breath in. And then as we breathe out, imagine you're breathing out <clears throat> all your thoughts. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale, breathing out 
all of your thoughts. Not thinking about what happened this morning, what could happen this afternoon. Staying in the here and the now. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale, clearing the mind of any thoughts. Let's start with our feet. Take a big, deep belly breath in. And breathe out, relaxing our feet. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale, breathing out through the feet. Imagine you're exhaling through those feet. Let's move on to our legs. Take a long, slow, deep belly breath in. And then as we breathe out, breathe out through the legs. Relax the legs. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale, breathing out through the legs. We relax our legs. Feel the legs go soft. Let's move on to our hips. Take a long, slow, deep belly breath in. And as we breathe out, we're breathing out through the hips. Relaxing our hips. Relaxing our bottom. Inhale, fill the lungs with air. Exhale, breathing out through the hips. We relax our hips. Now let's move on to the belly. Take a long, slow, deep belly breath in. As we breathe out, imagine you're breathing out through the belly, relaxing the belly. Imagine you're breathing out through that navel. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale, breathing out through the belly, relaxing our belly. Feel all the muscles at the front of the stomach start to relax. Now let's go internal, that internal stomach I talk about. Take a long, slow, deep belly breath in. As you breathe out, we're breathing out through the inner stomach. This is where we hold a lot of our anxiety, a lot of our nervousness. Let it go. Not helping you at all. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale, breathing out through the belly, inner stomach. Releasing all those cares that we're holding inside of us, all those concerns inside of us, letting those go. Let's do that again one more time. Long, slow, deep belly breath in. And breathing out through the inner stomach, relaxing our inner stomach. Let's move on to the lower back. Take a big, deep belly breath in. And breathing out through the lower back. Relaxing our lower back. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale. Breathing out through the lower back. Relaxing the lower back. Feel how that relaxes our legs a little bit also. Let's move on to our hands. Take a big deep belly breath in. And as we breathe out, imagine we're breathing out through our hands. 
relaxing our hands. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale, breathing out through the hands. Imagine you're picking up a grandchild and you want it to feel your calmness, feel your gentleness through your hands. So soften and relax the hands. Moving to the arms, take a big, deep belly breath in. And breathing out through the arms. Relax the upper arm, relax the lower arm, relax the elbow. Once again, inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale. Breathing out through the arms, relaxing the arms. Onto the shoulders. As we take a long, slow, deep belly breath in. And breathing out through the shoulders, relaxing your shoulders. Inhale, filling the lungs with air. Exhale, breathing out through our shoulders, relaxing our shoulders. All right, I want you to think about something that you are thankful for, something you're grateful for. It could be someone, it could be some place, a member of the family. Think about something you're thankful for. And as you breathe in, concentrate on whatever it is you're thankful for. And as you breathe out, start to let whatever you're thinking about in your relaxation start to mix together as you exhale. You're thinking about, on one hand, what you're thankful for. On the other hand, feeling the relaxation you feel right now. Do that again. Inhale, filling the lungs with air, thinking about something that you give thanks for. And exhale, breathing out, breathing relaxation, breathing thankfulness, thinking about those two things, letting them mix together, like two different colors of paint mixing together. Let's do that again. Inhale, filling the lungs with air, thinking about something that you're grateful for. Exhale, feeling relaxation and gratefulness mixed together. So the two become one. Let's do that one more time. Take a big, deep belly breath in. Something that you're very thankful for. Focus on that. And as you exhale, Feeling the relaxation, feeling thankfulness, feeling those two emotions mixed together. Beautiful. Look at how relaxed you guys are and how calm you are. I heard that young. Um, so what we did there at the end um, it's interesting how the body works. Um, our minds are so strong and we don't take advantage of them a lot of times. And so right at the very end, when we think about something we're grateful for, so maybe your spouse, uh, maybe your kids, um, it, maybe some place you go, uh, maybe you find peace out in the woods. So you think about the woods, um, whatever it is. Um, think about something you're thankful for, and when your body is relaxed, you, you feel the body's relaxation, let those two mix together, almost like paint, two different colors of paint, mixing around to become one. Um, what happens if you keep doing this for a while, the body starts to do an, a reaction that when it feels thankful about something, it starts to feel relaxed. And conversely, when we start relaxing, we start feeling more thankful about something also. 
um, we almost we condition the mind to start to relate relaxation to thankfulness. Um, so it can be a very powerful emotion. Okay. And then one other thing I thought I would share with you. So I teach a Parkinson's class uh, down in Crestwood for the people in South County that need some place to go. Um, <clears throat> one of the ladies there just told me um, that she's a Christian. Um, she uses an app to help her meditate, and she's been meditating every day. Um, and said it was really, really helpful. And she uses an app, and it's a charging app. I mean, they, they charge you, I think it's $7 a month, maybe $8 a month. Um, but it's a Christian meditating app, and she finds it very helpful to her. It's called Abide, A-B-I-D-E, Abide. Um, and she finds it very helpful, and she meditates on, um, I, I, I haven't used it yet. I assume they use scripture or, um, you know, Christian thoughts. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, she said she found it very helpful and has found um, meditating on Christian uh, thoughts has helped her Parkinson's disease. So uh, use that if it helps you. Okay? Uh, abide. Yeah, A A B I D E. Um, and I've, I've, I've gone through the first part, and you can actually pick different categories. Like if you're having anxiety issues, you can hit anxiety issues. Issues. If you're having health issues, you can hit that. You have women's study, they have men's study. So it kind of focuses the study for you out of, there's probably 25 different categories there. Um, so, it, 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 you know, I and I... I trust what this lady says, that it, it's a good app. So uh, maybe that'll help you, okay? Um, all right, so I'm gonna turn on the overhead light. Um, again, I want everyone to have a wonderful Christmas. Watch your, watch your eyes. Um, I want everyone to have a great Christmas and a happy new year. I will see you on the 5th. Gary will be here on the 4th. I'll be here on the 5th, all right? Probably see me dancing down the street on the fourth. Snow or no snow. Um, so, um, thank you guys so much. Really good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. You take care.